Today we have a review and a demonstration of Writer. So Writer is an open AI content generator, so we can generate website copy, blog posts automatically using uh, GTP3 AI. Now this tool, very similar to what we used last week, we used PepperType last week, and then a few of you in the comments said, why not have a look at Writer? Writer is similar to PepperType because they both have excellent lifetime offers, quite affordable lifetime offers as well. So both of these quite good value and very generous, especially compared to Jarvis. Jarvis is probably the one you've seen advertised the most uh, in terms of AI writing. This one's quite a bit more expensive than, than PepperType and uh, Writer. So we're going to look at Writer today. I'm going to uh, try putting together a piece of content here. I'll show you how I did it. I'll talk a little bit about how it actually compares with PepperType towards the end of the video as well, because a lot of you are going to wonder which one should I go for. I've got my own opinion. I'll give that at the end of the video as well. So I'm Alex from Ideaspot. Let's get started. So I'm just over at uh, writer.me. Now, Writer will let you start writing for free. They do have a very limited free trial, so you can actually get to use it and get an idea of whether it's uh, worth getting the pro version. So let's give this a try. Now, similar to my previous video, I want to write about the watch I'm wearing, which is a Vostok Amphibia. They look like these. They are a fairly affordable dive watch. They're a Russian brand, very classic history as well. I've got the Wikipedia article open as well, just to do fact checking, and I've got my writer um, all set up here. So the nice thing about Writer is it's got a, like an empty document set up where we're going to fill this in with our topic. So what I'm going to do in this case is a blog. Now they've got tons of different tools here for different kinds of copywriting. In this case, I want to do a blog. So I want to do the blog idea and outline. And I want to write about the Vostok Amphibia dive watch review. So I'm going to do it like a product review on that type of dive watch. So I'm going to click write for me. So this is what it's come up with. We've got a heading and we've got one, two, three, four. Um, dot points here, well, three dot points and a conclusion. And it says to write SEO friendly long form content, select each section heading along with the keywords and use the paragraph option from the ribbon. So then we can add some more description here. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to type, hit the paragraph button there and see what we get. So this is the first thing it's come up with and it's actually pretty good. I like these first two bits. The third bit's not as strong. It has two main parts, the case and the strap. These parts are made of stainless steel. The strap can be rubber, sometimes even fabric. So um, the, these parts are made of stainless steel. These parts um, generally are made of stainless steel. So it makes them very durable. You can see that we've got mostly stainless steel. Sometimes you use a rubber strap as well. The rubber strap versions are a little bit cheaper. Um, but I think this is generally pretty good. Let's try out the next paragraph and see what we do. There we go, let's go paragraph. Again, this is not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and try the next one. Let's get a paragraph. And here we've asked for five reasons you need an affordable automatic dive watch. Now it's only given us three here. So I guess the easiest way to get around that is just change this to three. And the three reasons are quite good. Like an automatic is good and it's affordable, is good and durable and rugged. These are, these are probably the three main reasons you'd get a Vostok anyway. And again, let's do the conclusion. Same again, generate a paragraph from that heading. Now this is an interesting one because it's claiming some uh, actual pricing and some old dates of when the company was founded. So you'd want to fact check these. I think you can actually get these from starting from $70, not $100, actually a bit cheaper. But I think that range is about right now. And also said the company that makes these watches has been doing so since 1832. But if we actually check Vostok watches on Wikipedia, the company was founded in 1942. So it's safer to correct that and make it 1942, I think. Always check uh, names, places, numbers when you're doing AI writing. The other really nice tool to use when we're talking about a product using Writer is the copywriting PAS. So that's pain agitation solution. So we talk about uh, what the pain point the customer might have and we aggravate that pain a little bit and then we provide the solution. So uh, we do that by doing this and we put this in here. So I think the key to put it in here is just the first sentence here. So this one actually, this... Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch is one of the best automatic dive watches in the market. I think it's the best automatic, uh, best budget, best budget automatic dive watch in the market. So let's just go with our, our main point here and then let's write that. So this is really cool what it's written here. So problem and, and agitate. So let's move this to the front of the post. This is pretty good. Um, let's go. 
So this is a good way of introducing using the PAS framework. So it says you're looking for a new watch, but the market's flooded with hundreds of brands that don't offer anything unique or interesting. You've been reading reviews, but you still feel overwhelmed. There's a watch for every type of person, and it's a terrible feeling not to find a suitable watch in the sea of available products. And with this article, we pinpoint some of the vital features of the Vostok Amphibia Dive Watch and why you should give it a second look. In addition, we'll talk about some of the features that are common amongst all Vostok watches. So that's a good lead in. Then we go through our dot points. Um, list some reasons and hit the conclusion. So this is actually pretty pretty solid writing. I think we're, we're almost pretty much done here. We could just add in a few key facts and figures about the um, about the watch, like some specifications and things. We could copy the spec sheet from the web page. Those kind of things, very easy to add. I'm just going to uh, delete all the tips and the keywords there. But we're, we're ending up with a 600 word blog post that was under 10 minutes, and this is actually pretty good. I didn't need to change too much in this. Most of the facts were actually correct. There were a few things in the conclusion that I needed to. Um, adjust but this is actually really good speaking of fact checking there was one i missed there the most expensive ones are probably 160 and they go as low as 70. so i think that's that's better actually that's actually cheaper than what Ryder ended up um, getting but again fact check numbers uh costs and typically names of people and places the ai sometimes confuses those but the rest of the writing the actual style is really nice one thing i didn't mention was that we're writing in a convincing tone there's lots of other tones you can write especially if you want to write something like formal for a more um, formal topic or uh, critical if you want to criticize something in comparison with something else but lots of nice things um, in terms of the tone that's something you don't get on most ai writers that a range of choice and we're writing in uh, us english obviously here but there's uh, lots of lots of languages there um, all the main languages Languages are included in writer so this is really cool now a few of you will be wondering how does this compare to the other one we looked at earlier pepper type ai which was the other ai software we tested a couple of weeks ago i think i've been using this one quite a bit i actually found the interface on writer to be a little bit nicer i quite like working in this document and actually doing that um, paragraph expansion method is really cool and you can actually keep expanding things if you want as well like go to more and keep expanding and and bulk out your your blog post and sometimes, especially when you're dealing with specifications and facts and things, the facts are wrong. Like this is, says it's a Swiss made quartz and this is a Russian automatic. So this, this entire sentence that it tried to expand was, in, was completely wrong. So you do have to be careful when you're dealing with specifications. That's with all of these AI writers. I don't think this is unique to, to Writer or PeppaType or, or Jarvis or whatever. They all make those sort of errors. Now, generally, the actual writing that it produces is, is pretty good as well. I do like the choices of tone. That was something that PeppaType didn't have. So that's really cool if you need to do different styles of um, copyright. And uh, the choices of language is pretty nice as well if you do need to write in different markets. The other thing is obviously the value of Rider. This is the cheapest lifetime deal going around at the moment, $39. I've got that link in the description where you can grab that lifetime deal. Now, just be aware of the limitations there. This is 50,000 characters per month, which is about 10,000 words per month. You could do a, a nice blog piece every, every second day, so maybe three or four really nice pieces a week. I think that's quite good for that, for a lifetime deal. PepperType is a little more generous. PepperType, um, if we look at PepperType's plan, you've got the $49 plan, which gives you 7,500 long form and 7,500 short form, and that's for 49. And you can actually choose tiered licensing. So if you want to spend more, you can have um, 70,000 long form, which is, that is so much um, you can, content you can produce. The other thing that's worth noting here, if you leave a review, they'll actually add 20,000 words per month to your limit. So you can actually bump that up to something like 27, um, sorry, 35,000 total words per month. So you'll get a lot more content done with, um, with PeppaType. The interface is not quite as nice, I didn't think, as, as um, Rider, but the quality of output was still pretty decent. This was all English, um, just be aware of that. And uh, this price is $10 more, so a little bit more expensive. I think this is uh, will produce more content for that license deal compared to this one. But if you just need something cheap that does a very easy job with a very nice interface, I think this is a really cool choice as well. And especially if you're not actually blogging, if your main job is doing web design and just mocking up a design, putting in some basic information and copy for your client, I think this is probably all you actually need, that 10000 a month. Most websites don't need that much copy um, to get uh, a result. So I think this is a quite a nice budget choice if you are on a tight budget and you just need something that can generate some good, uh, good readable content. 
So to wrap this up, I don't think you can go wrong with either of Writer or PepperType. I like using both of these. I was very productive using PepperType. I was very productive using Writer as we saw. Um, if you haven't checked out my PepperType video, I'll pop that up on the screen at the end of this video so you can check that one out. But I think this um, interface with the um, tone of the content and the languages choice, that's really very useful. I thought the interface was a bit nicer to use, but I think PepperType's a bit more generous with their limits and you can expand that limit if you leave that review. So it costs a little bit more if you're sensitive and you just need something to get you started. This is probably a bit cheaper. Um, either way, I've got those links in the description. If you use those, it really helps me out. Um, but yeah, you can't miss for, for these prices for a lifetime deal. I think this is really cool. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.